guys, it's Brandon here and it's Mindset Monday. Now today on this week's edition of Mindset Monday, we're gonna be diving into the idea that your fitness pursuit or your personal development pursuit is very much analogous to compound interest in investing. And this is a long game sort of approach that leads to the greatest success and that I've seen with myself, the people that I admire most in the industry and also the clients that I work with that see the most success. Um, so let's start at the beginning. So the fitness industry by and large makes a lot of its money off of very fast results marketing. Things like six week challenges, 30 day trim downs, things like that. And the reason that those type of advertising campaigns are so successful is that we humans are wired for immediacy. We seek immediate gratification because we have signals in our brain that are tied to getting satisfaction from things like food or sex or things like that that give our sort of light our brain up and produce those chemicals serotonin dopamine oxytocin things like that that make us really happy you know but the problem is that a lot of those you know primal things that are wired for immediate gratification compounded over time start to add up and you know damage our long-term pursuit of goals you know for example if your goal is to lose weight if you're always falling off your diet because you know you get tempted by pizza and the satisfaction of immediately eating it that's not going to allow you to reach that longer term goal now there's a very famous study um, in which they placed children in a room with uh, marshmallows and they, they sat the, the kid down at the desk and they gave them a marshmallow and they said, we're gonna step out for a little bit. Um, if you don't eat that marshmallow and we come back and it's still there, we'll give you another marshmallow. And so most of the children that were in the room were not able to resist the temptation of the marshmallow, right? And so they gave in and they actually tracked these children over time and they found that the, the children that were able to resist the temptation and held out for the second marshmallow, that pattern of of restraint continued in the rest of their life and they were able to exert the skill of delayed gratification and that means putting off immediate pleasure or immediate satisfaction with the understanding that there's going to be a greater payoff down the road now this principle while it applies well to fitness also applies to investing and saving right now besides the fact that saving money is obviously smart for retirement or in case you have any rainy day fund needs or anything like that there's also something called compounding interest that's at play in a lot of the ways we save now with investing and things like that. And compounding interest, not to overcomplicate it, within compound interest, the time of the money invested is the greatest factor, right? So even if you put a lot of money in towards the end of the investing cycle, it's never gonna be as great as small amounts invested over time. In fact, if you invest regularly, your money will double automatically over time. So if you just put money in, with compound interest at play, it will double every seven years on its own without you having to touch it at all. Now, in looking at this, we can understand that there's a few things at play. One, there has to be discipline with the investing strategy. You have to stick to keeping the money in there, putting it in regularly. And the other factor is that time is the greatest coefficient. So how does this apply to fitness? Now, with a lot of fitness things, we tie our results to you know, some time-related goal. It's usually get ready for summer, lose weight after the new year, things like that. So we try to make it a very finite pursuit. The problem is that these repeated finite pursuits are analogous to putting your money in savings, taking it out, putting it in, taking it out. And over time, this lack of consistency means that we never really build those solid results that we're after. Often the physiques or the lifestyles that we see on social media are not you know, the result of a six week challenge or even one year of disciplined approach. It's years or even decades of hard work over time. Here's the good news though. Those years of hard work were not extreme efforts like a lot of us approach our fitness life with, right? They didn't just try to save all their money at once or do all the workouts at once or anything like that. It was a much more moderate, sustained approach over time. And while this isn't as, as sexy for an ad or to, to get people to sign up for a six-week challenge or something, the reality is it is the way that it works. Now, um, at the studio and, and working with our online coaches, we get a lot of people that come to us and they basically, you know, not to flatter ourselves, but they say, you know, we, we want to look like you. You know, we want to have the physique that you have. And, you know, the, the reality that we try to explain to them and coach them is like, absolutely attainable. There's nothing special about us. The only thing that we have on you is that we've been doing this for so long. It's not to say that you can't reach these results and you can't build a healthy lifestyle starting tomorrow and feel better, but the results that you're looking at, especially with physique, come from you know years over time of doing just routine things really well. And the good news is that 
us trainers and, and some of the best physiques that you see in the world, like they don't necessarily have to do extreme things because they're putting in those small detailed efforts over time, living a very moderate but focused life. Right? So you have to think about your health habits in the way that you might think about money. Right? You have deposits and withdrawals. And deposits in this case would be healthy habits that you do. Things like preparing your meals and eating within a calorie budget, making sure that you're getting workouts in, you're getting enough sleep, you're drinking enough water, you're minimizing stress. Those would be your deposits. And now withdrawals would be things on the opposite ends. You know, are you, you know, eating really bad for a period of time, not just one night, that's not gonna kill anything, but are you eating bad for months over months? You're on the wagon, off the wagon, you know, do you stop going to the gym for years on end? Are you, you know, drinking a lot of alcohol? Are you consuming too much caffeine, not sleeping well? And you have to analyze your behavior at this moment. And I would even say get a piece of paper and on one side, one co make two columns on one column, say deposits and on the other withdrawals and list all the actions you've taken over the past few weeks, like how many times you've worked out versus how many hours you've sl slept at night. And what you can start to create is a very clear picture of where you're currently at. And whether this is good or bad, it's at least going to inform your decision making moving forward. Now, it, for people, it can be very discouraging because you think, well, you know, I'll never get to be like that person or I'll never hit the results that I actually want because it takes so much time. But I would argue that if you accept time as the most important factor, it's actually going to make your life a lot easier. Because when we go after extreme results, we don't consider the other things in our life that are gonna take precedence, and also that may be more important to us at the moment, right? Now, if spending time with family and friends or staying up late to watch TV or something is more important than waking up at 4 a.m. to go to the gym for three hours, totally understand, and no one's asking you to do that, but that extreme approach does require that sacrifice. I would contend that the people that are most successful in their fitness pursuits as well as their investing pursuits are more moderate over time, right? They're making those consistent moderate deposits in their investment accounts and they're also making those consistent moderate deposits in their fitness account, right? People that try to play the stock market up and down and take bets here and there, you know, we know looking at the statistical analysis that they usually end up actually losing money or at best breaking even. The same way with fitness. People that or, you know, I'm getting ready for vacation or it's the new year, I'm going to go crazy. Like year after year, they actually end up gaining weight, right? So they're moving in the wrong direction as opposed to the people that do the unsexy thing of going to the gym three days a week, making sure that they're walking enough, making sure that they're eating consistently 80 to 90% of the time and recording what they eat. Those sort of unsexy, unflattering behaviors over time, that's what build, builds the physique. So if you're in your fitness journey, whether you're at the beginning, the middle, or this is already a lifelong pursuit for you, I think it's important to remember that your greatest ally is going to be a time. And one really important thing that's become cliche, but cliche for a reason, is that the more that you can involve this process in your life, really fall in love with the process and see it as part of your identity, the easier it's gonna be. If you have to force yourself to do something every single day, even the strongest willed person is gonna give up. But if instead it's something that's just part of your routine, it's established like as a habit, like brushing your teeth or reaching out to friends, things like that, then it's just gonna fold nicely into your life. And the way that I always describe it to clients and ends up happening over time is one day you just wake up and you look in the mirror or you, you notice that you can do something and you're like, you know, holy shit, I'm, I'm actually at that place that I thought would never come for me, right? And it didn't come from going all out or doing anything extreme, it came from just being patient and focusing on the process, the small steps that you have control of over time. So I want you to reframe the way you look at your fitness. Whatever goal you have is probably gonna take two to three times longer than you actually think to reach it, but the good news is you don't have to do as much work to get there, it's just about staying consistent over time. So make sure that you're checking in with a coach if you're working with them, that you're part of a community that's going to help keep you consistent over that time. Now I might be biased because I am a coach and I work with a bunch of coaches, but I think that having someone to reach out to and touch base with over time is your strongest ally. Someone to create a plan Plan and structure and to make sure that you're sticking with it, especially in those times when you know it's not as exciting to maybe be tracking your food and things like that. So if you are looking to start your fitness journey or you're kind of wavering in it, make sure that you send us a message or make a comment on the bottom of this video and myself and one of our coaches will definitely reach out and we'll just hop on a call with you and break down exactly what we think you need to do. The call is 100% free. We just wanna make sure that you have a detailed plan and if you want some help along the way with that plan, we're happy to share what that looks like as well. 
but having that coach, that guidance, whether it's a friend or family member or a professional to help you can really get you through those kind of boring times and help you build sort of that either physique, the look you want, achieve a long-term goal, or just fold fitness into your, your life as a lifelong habit. So as always, I want you to really think about the mindset you're taking into your training, into the rest of your life as well as it carries over. Time is your greatest coefficient here. Be patient and focus on the small steps within the process that you can control. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you have any questions, make sure you drop a comment below and I'll make sure to reach out and answer anything you have. Until next time, guys, I'll see you for Mindset Monday.